Hello, I'm Joe Wren. This picture has gone viral on Facebook from a support group in Evansville that's based on military with post-traumatic stress disorder. The man in the photo is one of the group's members who made the sign himself to get out the message that fireworks can cause major problems for combat veterans. Sean Gurley, the co-founder and executive director, says she hopes people will be cautious about setting off fireworks near veterans' homes. Neighbors in a Peru subdivision are still fighting the Department of Natural Resources that six dams in their neighborhood state jurisdiction. The DNR told her that the dams need thousands of dollars worth of repairs to bring them up to code, and owners with dams on their properties had to pay for the upgrades. Hidden Hills resident and Miami County Commissioner Larry West formed a steering committee of residents that hired legal counsel to dispute the DNR's claim. West owns a portion of one of the dams and says that based on the statute in question, the dams don't fall under the DNR's jurisdiction and therefore aren't subject to agency regulations. And more than 8,000 spectators line the streets of Bloomington this morning for the annual 4th of July parade. Downtown Bloomington Incorporated Executive Director Talisha Kopik says the parade is a reflection of the community from Scottish pipes and drums to gymnasts, veterans organizations and rights activists all coming together to celebrate. We were there too. Did you see us? We saw you. There are more photos on our website at WTIUnews.org. And now a quick check of the weather forecast for tonight. Clear conditions, lows in the lower 50s. Sunny conditions continue on Saturday and Sunday with highs in the mid 80s. Rain back in the forecast on Monday. For WTIU News, I'm Joe Wren.